I'd like to say it's a great effort by our players and coaches, and um, I'm really tired. I'm happy to answer any questions I can. John, the, um, the, the long pass to Henry Ruggs for the touchdown was has sealed that game in a lot of ways. Um, kind of what, what into that call right there? Third and ten, um, running game. Was that well, we, you know, we uh, we spent a lot of time up there trying to come up with a good play that gives our guys a chance and. That's just a very small percentage. That's one of the reasons why we took Rugs. You know, he blew the blew the top off in Arrowhead. It helped us win that game and the Jets. And today that was a big play. Not many guys can run that fast and track the ball. So, without getting any specifics, it was certainly a big play. But the protection with the revolving door we've had up front in a critical moment and the throw with a quarterback that's hurt. There's a lot of good stuff there to go around. John, you say revolving. Well, it says a lot about the development of our team. You know, we had Brandon Parker playing, right tackle. Leatherwood had an oblique strain. Uh, obviously, Denzel and Richie aren't playing. It's a credit to Cable and Illuminor, and we had guys on call ready to go. I can't tell you, Peyton Barber came in here, did a nice job. So, uh, just really proud of our coaches and our players. The effort is, is outstanding. If you're a Raider fan, you'd really like these guys. Well, I think George and if Jack were still with us, they'd have been proud of some of the hits, legal hits. You know, they're flying around. They had good vision on the quarterback. Uh, they got some really good breaks and made some made some tremendous plays and um, had to have those plays. So I thought the rush was pretty good. They threw it quick. We stopped the run for the most part and uh, got off the field on third down on some key moments. John, did anything change schematically once T.J. Watt left the game? We're missing enough players. I don't give a damn who's out there for them. You know, we, we were changing our scheme as well. I hope he's okay. Um, obviously, without Watt, you know, without Josh Jacobs, without some of your, your, your big guns, you have to adjust. And uh, I think both teams had to do that today. John, how good does it feel? When you're talking about the development side, uh, Foster Moreau, Henry Ruggs, Brian Edwards, guys stepping up and, and making big plays, contributing plays. Yeah, we're, we're going to try to keep building on the good and correct the things we think we can improve at. Obviously, uh, Edwards had a beautiful touchdown call back in the red zone and made some nice plays as well. So um, this is a collective effort by all three phases. That's what you have to do to win in this league on the road against a good team. Well, you mentioned Derek Carr got hurt, and he was obviously playing behind, and he's got some injuries on the offensive line. They still have a really good performance. What do you think about your cooking sauce and having that performance? Well, I, I just let his performance speak for itself. I've been, I've been clamoring about Derek Carr since I've been here. So... Hopefully he gets some recognition for doing what he did today. You know, he had some long drives. He was uh, big again at the end of the game against two great defenses two weeks in a row, and it's a big reason why we've been able to win. What's going through your head when he goes down, and uh, how quickly did you know he was going to be all right? Well, it's, it's tough. You know, we're already missing some key guys. We already lost Marcus, and uh, you just, you know, you pray to the football gods upstairs that everything's going to be all right. It's about all you can do. Hey, John, did you say anything to your team after the Trey Turner incident? Just to make sure things don't get out of hand or still close game? Yeah, I don't really see. I'm looking at my sideline sheet. I'm, I'm all over what the next snap is. Hate to see guys get thrown out of games in fourth quarter, certainly, but no, I didn't. What can you say about your, what can you say about your team? Just winning on the road in a short week. Well, we're 6-2 and two last year on the road. Yeah. So it's not like, you know, we're going home celebrating. We've got two wins, two AFC wins, and we got to get ready for Miami. So we're going to keep our level-headedness and um, proud of our accomplishments. Yet I think this coaching staff and this team is, is going to try to find ways to get better because we have to. We've got a number of injuries. How was the security of having a guy like Daniel McCarthy that you could just put in there and he's going to genuinely make the catch? You know, it's amazing. Sometimes, you know, you get all overwhelmed with how your draft picks are performing and you know, you got all these pro football stats to say who had a good pick and who didn't. And you lose sight of, you know, sometimes guys have a change of scenery and they take off. And when I look at uh, Daniel Carlson and uh, obviously Darren Waller, you know, some of these players, Solomon Thomas had a sack today. I think Quentin Jefferson and Yannick and Gokwe are bringing us more than uh, people know. And Denzel Perryman's playing great football. K.J. Wright is, is – you know, jumped in here and just assumed KJ Wright like status. So, it's a, it's a, it's really a credit to uh, to a lot of people in the organization, and 
I'm ready to go. Yeah, we're, I'm not going to be a philosophical Socrates up here. We're all confident. We, we, we have a confident group. We were confident last year. We lost some heartbreaking wins, you know, gut-wrenching, disgusting losses at the end of football games. So we have a long way to go. We're nowhere near perfect. God bless you. Sorry to interrupt you. Thank you, guys. No, I was just talking about Waller in terms of, you know, obviously keen on him, but you've got other guys. Well, they're always keen on Waller. I mean, Pittsburgh, I mean, Waller still had a great catch to win the game. Yeah. Hell, everybody's going to key on Waller, wouldn't you? We had 27 targets last week, so, uh, you know, go ahead. They, they're welcome to do that. You know, we're, we're, we're expecting that, and if they don't, we're going to throw it to them. So, thanks a lot. I'm just tired. Have a good thanks, one. Guys. I mean, majority of the times, if you're the deep route, I mean, it's, it's dialed up. And, um, I mean, we just, I mean, we look for a certain coverage and we got it. So, it's just for, for us to go make play. Henry, it looked like you also had to have some extra concentration because the ball kind of moved around a little bit on you, too. Yeah, I, I did. I mean, it, it was a moon ball. I mean, he, he threw it up. I just had to, you know, run and go get it and do whatever I had to make the play. Given the circumstances of that play, third and uh, ten, you need a touchdown basically to put the thing away. How mm -hmm. good uh, I mean, it, it feels good just to just to be a guy that you know can can turn the game around at any time and just just make a play like that to to basically seal the game. It's just, I mean, it's just that's that's the feeling I like. You guys are dealing with a lot of injuries on offense, obviously. What's allowed y'all to kind of keep playing at a higher rate despite all that? I mean, just just our preparation. I mean, we we prepare together. Everybody, you know, everybody takes reps. Everybody is held to a standard. So, I mean, no matter what, injuries are part of the game. So everybody has to be ready at all times. I mean, it, this team is full of playmakers. I mean, from from the the quarterback position, running back, you know, receivers, tight ends. We we're we're loaded with with playmakers. So it, it's just about us, just you know, just utilizing everybody and everybody making plays when it's that time. Uh, I mean, I mean, it feels great. I mean, it just it just shows that you know this team can can prepare, you know, on anything under any circumstances and and go out and do what needs to be done. On your touchdown at uh, 25, Witherspoon, looked like he was in coverage. Was that something you guys knew he was making his first uh, you know, his debut with the Steelers, or that he was new to this defense or anything like that? I mean, it wasn't necessarily. We were looking at one person. We were just looking at the the, the coverage, you know, the shell as as a whole, and you know what they were doing out of the bunch, and we just knew we could take advantage of. Henry takes all facets to win football games, and defensively, they were kind of holding it down all the time. Right. How good does that feel being able to rely on a defense? I mean, it feels great. I mean, we're a team. We, you know, we work together all three phases. You know, from kicking game, defense, offense, and I mean, for for those guys to just you know hold us up, like you said, while we were, you know, working out some kinks and you know getting things together, that just shows that 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 we're a brotherhood. That offensive line doesn't give Derek the time to throw the ball downfield like that. I mean, what does that say about the offensive line? We just got so many new faces rotating in and out. I mean that that just goes back to like I said the preparation. I mean we got we got guys ready to step up at any time. You know everybody's waiting on their chance and their opportunity just to you know to make a play and help the team out. Henry, you guys like Denzel get out for the season and he's locked in, tweeting, excited. What does it say about this group how tight you guys are and just I mean he was you know just so excited about the win. I mean I just uh, I don't know how many times I just just keep emphasizing this. It's, it's more than just a team. You know we're we're together. I mean the. The off season definitely brought us closer, and you know, just being around the guys all the time, and you know, going through camp and competing, and you know, after everybody made the team, it's just, I mean, now we we know who we have, we know you know what we have, and it's just about you know us coming together, the camaraderie, and just you just going out there and playing. Go ahead. I mean, it's just, I mean, it, it, it's just something to build on. I mean, I'm definitely a lot more confident. But, I mean, it's, it's always something to get better at, and we're just going to do that day by day. What was it like when uh, the touchdown before yours, when it looked like Derek was hurt and the whole team was huddled uh, out there? How quickly did you know he was okay, and what was it like in that moment? I mean, he pretty much told us before he got up. You know, he was just saying, help him up. He was like, he was going to be good. And, I mean, <laughs> just to reiterate, you see everybody came out to check on him, make sure he was okay. 
And um, I mean, we're just just prepared for the worst, but you know, praying for the best. And you know, he came out and you know helped us win the game. What goes through your mind when the ball's in the air? When you hit top speed, do you think about when you hit top speed? What, what, what goes through your mind? <laughs> Honestly, I mean, the first thing is don't drop it. I mean, uh, other than that, is when I saw that one, it was run. I mean, he he threw it up. It was just like go get it, and, and that's just that's all I can think of. Go get it and don't drop it. You guys good? All right, thank you, Henry. Uh -huh. Appreciate it. Uh, to be honest, I kind of missed the first part of your question. I apologize. No. Kind of got the gist. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it feels great. It feels great. It's. Uh, I, I was just telling Darren and Derek in the locker room, Carrier. Uh, it, it's an. It's kind of an attitude. It, it's an attitude thing, right? Um, there's an air of confidence walking out onto the field for every unit that we have, which is um, extremely underrated. And I don't know if everyone can say that. Right? A lot of teams work hard and a lot of teams have a lot of good players, but um, I feel like we're really coming into our own and working hard, and we had a great week of practice, and we're happy to get out of here with a win. That's a really good Pittsburgh team, um, and they're probably going to go pretty far. Is that different in terms of your confidence, or is that something you think you had in the past, or is it, that, or is it just here these last few weeks? No, we've definitely had flashes. We, we've absolutely had flashes. Um, it's just – it's – Kind of something you feel in the air, you know. It's it's nothing from from any of the play, any of the stats, any of the players, any of the new guys, old guys, guys that we have now, guys that we used to have. It's um, it's just a, a team camaraderie, as coach likes to say, that we're really starting to develop. And you could kind of tell going through the entire off season. Um, we had a lot of guys in February, March, April, uh, OTAs. We had just incredible numbers and um, incredible execution on the practice field. And we got each other better. Uh, so I'm just really happy for us. All, all, all glory goes to those guys. Foster, how, how fast did your emotions change from when you score a touchdown to you look and you see Derek laid out on the field? Oh, man, great question. I had absolutely no idea. And in kind of a just crazy, just – because that, that had never happened to me before in a weird way. And so I just saw, obviously, four down on the ground. He didn't even know I caught it, to be honest. He kind of got rolled up on and said, did he catch it? Someone said, yeah. And he said, yes, let's go. Right? Uh, that's just a, that's a awesome quarterback, you know? And I, I love to get a death. And out the huddle, he's kind of letting you know. He's like, yeah, yeah, go get it. You know, we know the play and we know the matchups and just trying our best. But my mood definitely switched. It, it, oh man, sunk down, just way down. Yeah. yeah. Uh, What's it like that weapon like? Like we're all just next to on the offense. Isn't he fun? Isn't he fun? Oh man, and he's so humble. He's so humble, and he works so hard, and he's in such a great room. Um, just in, in his second year, being the leader that he is, and just he doesn't really have to vocalize it. You know, it's just by example, and we just. Anytime we call a play for rugs, it's, it's, a, it's a good day on the Ponderosa. It seems like you can say that about a, a bunch of guys around us. Yourself, you came up big, uh, obviously Waller, Brian Edwards, Hunter Renfro. Just the, the list is growing, it seems, in that regard. And that you trust it in those situations. Uh, you know, that's, that's all credit to Coach Gruden with, uh, with a good scheme and all these guys for really buying in and believing in the process. And... Um, I mean, we haven't heard O-line here yet. You know, O-line, none of that happens without those guys. Uh, we, had, we had Wood go down. Uh, and Brandon Parker came in and stepped up big time. That's a really good rushing team. Uh, uh, again, I wish, wish the best for him. I, I hope TJ gets healthy. I hope that's not anything too bad for him. But, uh, yeah, none of it happens without the O-line. But 
definitely skilled guys stepping up. It's it's awesome. Uh, well, to sum that up, in 2019 when I showed up, uh, got drafted right, and then we showed up to the rookie minicamp, the first words John Gruden spoke to me was, you're going to be a, our, our blocking horse. You're going to be our 58, 59. You're going to be our, you can be our pass blocking, our go get him tight end. And that's what we expect. We expect you to try to block the Von Millers, the Bradley Chubbs, the TJ Watts, right? These guys are good rushers, and they dedicate a lot of time and effort and work into their craft. Um, but it, it's been a point of contention for a long time. Uh, we've been really, really pretty good at it for a long time. Today was tough. Today was tough. TJ, I mean, Melvin hasn't lost a step. He hasn't lost a step. He's a good rusher. Um, these, guys are, these guys are good players, you know, and we try to pride ourselves on our ability to help the tackles, the, the line in any way that we can, right? So that's just always a safety valve for us. You also have a defense that when guys like Henry said work on tapes, getting field goals, your defense continues to pad up. Maybe different than recent years. Can you talk about that side that you're, you're out watching? Oh, I, I love when our defense is on the field. Um, there's this uh, just a, a dynamic of rally tackling and trust and belief um, that's just awesome to see. I, I've played for good defenses in college, um, and we've had really good, really good spots here with the Raiders. You know, but it's just, again, it's a different, different thing in the air. You know, these these guys, these guys rally tackle. They believe in each other, and uh, they love playing football. It's it's awesome to see their love for one another and their love for the game come out and just really shine. For the tight end who operates at every level, how aware were you guys of uh, all the injuries they were dealing with on the D line, the linebacker for the secondary? You mentioned TJ. To be fair, we had, I had no idea until, you know, because it's weird because we're always jumping around, right? And I know TJ primarily lines up on the right, and Melvin was there for the majority of the end of the game. Uh, I had no idea until probably 12 minutes in the fourth quarter that he wasn't there. A lot of the time I'm just not really thinking about it, kind of honed in, but that's a good question. Of course. Seems to come up with big time catch after big time catch, especially when it's in Yeah, I, uh, I really don't know if that's a question, to be honest with you. He's just, he really is. He's, he's very clutch for us. He's an exceptionally good football player. He has been for a very long time, um, dating all the way back to, I haven't seen his high school highlight tape, but I'm sure it's outstanding. Uh, I've seen a lot of his college film. Um, and obviously, I've seen every play that he's ever taken here. But he, he's an exceptional player uh, and honestly, an exceptional human being. I, he is one of my best friends in the world. I, I love the guy so much. Uh, great father, great husband, uh, teammate on and off the field. He, he's as 24 7 as it gets. Sure. Anything else? That's good. Thanks, guys. Thank you. How y'all doing? Craig Bond, the defense has looked different through the first couple weeks of this season. What do you think has been clicking for you all so far overall? I just feel like we got a, a, a group of guys that's playing with each other, uh, love the game of football, want to win, have a sense of urgency. We got a lot of guys that are in the building, 5 o'clock, and we don't start practice at 7.30. It's just a different mindset around the whole building. Um, with the defensive guys, uh, you can just feel the different energy. Was that kind of encapsulated in, in your interception? If you take us through that play, it looked like Max and he kind of both got pressure. And just, just us working together. Uh, um, the rush helped the pa uh, pass coverage. Pass coverage helped the, the rush, like Coach always preached. Um, those guys did a good job getting to the quarterback, um, playing hard, playing fast, um, putting pressure on, the, on Ben, and, you know, just opportunities. You can't miss opportunities. Talked about the vibe is different, obviously. How much different is the confidence? How much higher is the confidence now that you've got the side of the ball? 
We have an extremely uh, good amount of confidence. Uh, guys prepare well, come to practice uh, with an edge, um, so it can carry over in game time situations like this. You never know what's going to happen. Playing a good team like Pittsburgh, um, the way we prepare is just is just unbelievable. Uh, we have days where we don't have the best days, and we know that the next day we come out that it's going to be different. It's going to look different. It's going to look a certain way, um, like Coach wanted to look, and we just buy into that. He brought a lot of confidence to us. Uh, we love that guy. We love Coach Gus, uh, the staff. Uh, just everybody just um, sees the moment. Uh, everybody is together. Um, we communicate with each other. We communicate well. Um, it's just it's just a different different energy. Sometimes you go by you know what people were projecting. Not a lot of people thought that the Raiders would be two and zero right now. Uh, so there's two tough teams going on the road here. Short week injuries. How does it feel? It feels good, um, but I mean we can't stop now. Uh, we got to keep going. We got to finish. Uh, we got to keep stacking those those practices. Um, keep stacking days. Uh, continue to stay healthy. Um, get better. Uh, and once one guy go down, the next guy got to be ready. And I feel like we prepare for that, and we're ready for any situation and any moment that happens. You go against the rugs in practice. How tough? How, how big a weapon is he? What, what kind of threat is he? Ruggs made me better every day. Um, just the stuff he do. Um, he's a quick, he's a fast guy. Um, uh, I love going against him and competing because uh, I know he's going to bring, uh, he, he practices with a high level. Practice at a high level. And it, it does nothing but make me better. I mean, sometimes you're going to miss plays, sometimes you're going to make plays. Uh, it's just about the next play. You just got to have a different mentality. It means a lot. Um, we could feel it. We could, we definitely feel it on the sideline. We feel it on the field. Um, we talk about it amongst each other. Um, like that energy, it just it just feels different. You know, guys just want to go out there and play fast and just show people what we're about. So it means a lot to have fans like that. All good, guys. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Up here, up here, please, please. Your ankle's not even wrapped. Yeah, well, yeah, it will be. No, I'm just kidding. No, I'll, I'll be all right. We'll be okay. But first, wait, first of all, I feel like Fresno State's like the best team in California. We knew you were going to do Fresno State, they got, like, if you're a kid and you want to go play uh, college football in California, I'd pick. I mean, what, we beat UCLA four times in a row. How are we not in the Pac-12? I don't know. That's just crazy. I just had to throw that out there. <laughs> Yep. Like, you guys just decided we're going to try to end this thing right here, or at least put it away right yeah. here. Uh, was, was that the mindset, or was it just the look? Um, and then how good does it feel to be able to have all the parts working in order to make that happen? Yeah, I mean, it, it feels so nice to have the guys to be able to do that, you know, because um, we, I had a read, I had a progression and all that kind of stuff, just in case that wasn't there, uh, you know, that I could go through and all that kind of stuff. But, um, you know, they... They gave us a good look. Uh, almost got home with a blitz too, uh, but but Henry Henry's so fast, you know, speed kills, and that's one of the advantages of his speed showing up to where he could get open like that, so fast and so quick. The the blitz, you know, they, they didn't even you know uh, really. I mean, it got there, but I had time to throw it, you know, and so um, it was a progression. You know, it wasn't like a oh, this is the time. Like we were we were looking for it all game. They played. Played a lot of coverage, you know, um, and I would too to Waller. You know, you, know, you don't want him to beat you on one play and you know, make him beat you eight times. So, uh, you know, they did a lot of things, but it was it was good. Is that one of the things I think that Darren made the safety look when he looked off? I mean, is that one of the little things on a play like that? Not a lot of you know what's happening, but then they just look corrupt. Yeah, absolutely. You know, there's a. Uh, there's so much little detail, like even in just like like me taking my hand off the ball or shoulder, or, you know, that I do throughout the game. You know, sometimes, you know, before the snap, I'm looking over here, you know, doing it. You know, quarterbacks, we're playing that, playing chess all the time because you got guys on that defense that, my goodness, they they know almost what's coming every time. You know, they they're just so smart, uh, very well coached, um, you know, 
in, in my eight years, is one of the most well-coached teams, you know, that they've always been. You know, Coach Tomlin does such a great job with that, with with his guys and that group. That they they they're smart. They're, they they their reactions are a little bit quicker than everybody else on certain things. So um, you try and play the chess game against especially good players, um, you know, that they have back there. Did anything change for you in the course of the game when you see several players in the opposing defense, while with an injury, all while with TJ, etc.? Do you see mm -hmm. things your team? Hey. Can take apart this. Hey, this is going to be different. These plays might happen that otherwise wouldn't. Uh, I'm honestly, uh, you know, anytime number 90 is on the field, he he wrecks everything. You know, he's he's one of those players. He's a Von Miller. He's a Khalil Mack. You know, an Aaron Donald. He's one, he's one of the best players. He's been paid like it too. You know, I think he, it's well deserved. You know, uh, when he punched that ball in my hand, we had a touchdown to Henry. Um, and he, that's that's the things that a guy like that can do for you. You know that. I'm getting ready to, I'm looking at Waller trying to bait him and I'm about to throw it to Henry and he comes in and punches it out. I mean, that's a, you know, that, that type of play is a game saving play and that's the kind of player he is. Now when he's out of the game, you obviously notice he's out of the game, but it doesn't mean, okay, now we can do this or do that. I mean, we, we run our stuff here in Las Vegas. We full confidence in our guys and that's, that's just how we play and that's how we'll always play. We'll, we'll always be smart um, and, and not reckless, but, but we just, we just play football. That wasn't. Yeah, from my vantage point, I saw 93 get outside leverage on, you know, on it, uh, which I knew that on Foster's corner route, I'd get the backs, uh, his back to me, so he wouldn't see the ball. And uh, I tried my best just to, get, just to put an accurate ball. I didn't think I was very accurate in the first half last week, um, you know, if I'm honest. You know, I, I just didn't think I was up to my standards. And so it very emphasized that I set my feet. I was like, man, I'm just going to make an accurate, try and make the most accurate throw that I can. And uh, right as soon as the ball was just coming down, that's when I got, I don't even know, hit, rolled up, I don't know, um, uh, on that moment. So I, I remember laying there, and uh, and Derek Carrier comes over, and uh, everyone's like, all of a sudden I look up, there's 30 people, you know, I'm like, oh my gosh, you know, I'm like, we'll be okay. Uh, but um, I asked, first thing I asked is, did he catch it? And then no one answered me. I was like, did he freaking catch it? You know, They're like, yeah, he caught it. I was like, all right, well then get me up, <laughs> you know. Uh, but, uh, you know, Carrier came over and, a lot of my teammates, it was an amazing moment. Um, you know, I try, I try to be someone who gives so much, you know. And in that moment, they all came over and they all started, like, praying for me. And it was just this beautiful moment of my teammates, like, looking out for me, you know. And that right there is family to me. I didn't, I didn't really – I love the touchdown, don't get me wrong. But that moment right there, I was like, man, I just want to win this game for this team, man. That, that's, that is a beautiful, beautiful thing that happened. You guys only had 17 yards rushing until the end. Oh, wow. You really needed – Yeah, I mean, you know, you're missing, uh, you know, superstar and Jacobs. You know, um, you know, O line's banged up, all these kind of things. So, uh, you know, the AFC North, they want to stop the run. You know, all those things. So we knew we were going to have to throw it uh, to have a chance to win. Uh, but when we had to run it, it's a beautiful thing. You know, we were able to do it. Uh, I'm sure we could look at the film and be like, oh, we could have done this or this better. Um, but that's that's every game, win or lose. Uh, but very proud of our guys, Coach Cable again. I try and give him as much credit as I can. I think you guys know, especially you guys that have been around the organization but when he was here before me, he's, he's unbelievable. You know, uh, what he can do with uh, not just the first string guys. I said it, I said it so, I've said it so many times, I think, standing up here, that what he can do with anybody that's in his room. They come in and they're ready to play and they, they fight, you know. And uh, they, they did at the end and we were able to run the ball and kill some of that time. Never want to give Big Ben too much time. You know, he's, a, he's one of the best quarterbacks to ever play the game. So, especially with that, those wideouts and that, that back, you got to be able to, you got to be able to take some uh, time uh, off the clock. Sure. Derek, how did he feel to get? Sure. Sorry. Go ahead. Derek, how did he feel to get back with fans in the stands in a hostile environment? Yeah, yeah, it was, it was nice to get said a few choice words. I was called a mor moron today, I was a, an idiot. Um, <laughs> It's called a few things that I probably won't repeat either. Um, but it always feels good to hear those things again. Honestly, it's funny because then at the end of the game, you look at them, and it, they're just football fans. You look at them and you look at you smile, and they smile and give you a thumbs up. And, you know, like it, it's just part of the game. You know, it's fun. And that's everywhere except Kansas City. They're just never nice. But, um, you know, it, it, it was nice uh, to be back. You know, I hadn't been back here. Was it 2015 uh, last time we were here? That's right. Uh, and – I remember that was like my first time coming to Heinz Field, and I was like, holy crap, you know, oh my gosh. 
now playing a whole bunch of games since then and being in my eighth year coming here, I was like, man, this is just awesome. You know, it was just a total different feel for me. It's really fun. You know, there's some, I mean, some y'all saw some of them in like training camp, some of those throws, like I shouldn't even throw them, but I just throw them past the coverage and he goes and gets them, you know, like even that one is still an iffy decision, you know, but I can throw it past the coverage. Uh, in, in some instances, and there's a fine line there, you know, but I can throw it past cover, and he goes, like, it's unbelievable. Uh, the one I threw him, he just looks at it, and you just see this gear that not a lot of human beings have, and uh, makes it makes it fun for me, but it was definitely a moment where we had a progression, like I said, but as soon as they gave it to us, that killer, was, you know, so you can go get it, you know, and he goes and he does it in practice. That's the beautiful thing. You know, a lot of the Speed guys and stuff, they, they hurt or they can't practice, and then you're like, do I, I can't trust to throw it in the game. He, he has shown over and over again um, in practice. So uh, I think his mentality, y'all know, he's bigger, he's strong. He, he, his mentality coming into the season gave me the confidence in letting those things go to him. Um, so it was good. There's been a lot of talk about that, like the philosophy of the coach and how everyone's kind of buying in with the camaraderie. What changed, do you think, with the group that really helped them develop as a team with that mindset. Talking about the whole team? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think um, we have a bunch of guys that, one, love football. We love football. There's not one guy on our team where we come in the building like, I don't want to talk to this guy. And I've been on teams where there are, uh, if I'm honest. You know, uh, m- many of teams where I was like, gosh, makes makes work not fun, you know. And every guy in that locker room makes work so fun. They bring joy every day. And so they love football. They're great guys to be around. And you know they're, uh, they're good football players because Mr. Mayock and um, Coach Gruden are unbelievable at bringing guys in. You know, they, you know, and if they see a guy that, you know, no matter where he was drafted or whatever, and they're like, whoa, I think that this guy could be – they bring him in. You know, it's, it's a hard business, but you see a group of guys that they've put together that just have just done this. Uh, a lot like 2016. You know, our team just – and I'm not comparing their records or anything <laughs> like that. <laughs> but I'm saying the chemistry of the team was – it was close. And that's how you know you have a good football team. And, and, and I feel like that's been built. You know, I felt that way last year. I was getting like, I was like, man, you just love these guys. I want Even this year, we brought in more guys. You just wrap your arms around them. You just, I just want to win with this group. You know, that's the feeling. You know, it's, not, it's not pulling your teeth to go to work. Um, like I look forward to tomorrow going in the training room and seeing those guys and working out and grinding and trying to get better for the next week. You know, and that's an exciting feeling for me. Eric, uh, between the two teams you guys played, uh, the travel to start with, Probably more than a whole bunch of people would have thought that the Raiders would be two and all right now. Of course. Um, but it doesn't seem like any of that faith to you guys. Uh, yeah. Why, why is that? Well, the the absolute worst thing in the world are the preseason rankings and talk shows and sorry Dave, but you know all that all that stuff, right? He's one of y'all too, so uh, you know all that all that preseason stuff. None of it matters. Like that's a beautiful thing about football. Is like I say all the time, they, they, you still got to put the ball down. You still got to play. And whatever team put the work in and is on their stuff, it's on the details, that team's going to ultimately, hope, hopefully, end up winning, you know. And that's why I, I, I don't blame them for thinking that we wouldn't be. I mean, we, we haven't done what we've wanted to do for the last couple of years. You know, we haven't been to playoffs since 2016. You know, I don't, I don't blame that thought process. But at the same time, like, just as a competitor, you're just like, like I, I don't care about that. Just put the ball down and let's see if we, see if we can turn these into wins. Now, We've started two and zero before, but we got to keep going. You know, we, we can't let this thing we can't let this thing go downhill. So, uh, keeping the mindset, staying in the process, staying in the channel, those are all the things that matter. Derek, what does it mean to you to face a future Hall of Fame quarterback like Ben Roethlisberger? And did you have any conversation with him? Because yeah. obviously, with his age and different questions around his career at this point, this could be the, the last time that you face off against, obviously. Yeah. And see him for a while? I, I love Big Ben. I was able to be around him, I don't know what year, but at the Pro Bowl, and Coach Tomlin was the coach. Um, and I, I just listened to him talk. I talked to him a lot, uh, especially about a golf simulator uh, we talked about. <laughs> and uh, just had fun, you know, and got to got to know the guy and always rooted for him. Um, I, I've, always th- I've always thought he's one of the best players um, in our game. Um, and yes, he's closer to the end of his career than he was to the beginning, than he is to the beginning, but he can still throw a football and he can still play at a high level. And uh, he, it's so cool to be able to compete against, you know, a walking Hall of Famer. You know, the guy has two rings, the guy's done everything in this city that you could imagine. 
Um, and it's it's an honor. It's just a joy for me. I just love football. It's cool to play against guys like that and get to know them. And uh, you know, talk. I talked to him a little bit after the game, but um, you know, nothing, nothing, anything different than usual. But uh, I always have rooted for Big Ben. Let's do one more, guys. One more for Derek. Yeah, Oscar said uh, he's. I'll get you. I'm sorry. Uh, good. He said that. Uh, Kind of the point where it's fun for him to watch the defense. I'm sure you have other things going on when you're on the sideline, but when you do get to see them, did, does it kind of bring you a joy just the way they've been playing? Yes, just yes. Yeah, it does. You know, uh, you look up, you, you go get the lead, and then you look back up, and it's fourth down, and you're like, we get the ball back. You know, it's just, you know, it's a good feeling. You know, it's a good feeling uh, to have the lead and and to keep it um, and things like that. They have in the last two weeks come up so big for us. Uh, and you just got to give all the credit to Coach Gus and, and their staff and our players. You know, they've, they've done a great job of keeping us in the games and keeping the leads for us, and it is fun. It's a lot of fun, you know, especially watching that D-line. There's a bunch, of, a bunch of adults, you know, like I said, there's no green bananas on that D-line. You know, those guys are grown men. It's fun to watch them play. Well, there's more, there's more than just a couple voices saying that, you know. I think that's what gives me the confidence in it. You know, well, time will tell, right? Um, you know, we got a tough opponent at home, you know, uh, and, and can't wait for that. But I think the, the thing that gives me the confidence is that there, it's not just three or four voices. Like, everyone after the game's like, hey, we'll celebrate on the plane, but as soon as we land, it's time to get back to work, you know. And I learned that from John Baxter and Pat Hill at Fresno State that you celebrate all wins because they're hard to get. You celebrate all wins, but you got to get back to work for the next one. And so we'll celebrate and we'll have fun. We'll laugh on the plane and um, it won't be a sad flight home, you know, which is nice. Uh, uh, but at the end of the day, uh, when we wake up tomorrow morning, it's time, it's time to move on. You know, make the corrections, go see your coach, make the corrections. It's time to move on, go forward and hopefully, hopefully sustain it. You know, that's, that's the goal. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you all. No questions? Um, All right, they're good. Talked about the defense, and you guys have had injuries as well. The other side of all, you talked about the first two weeks and how you, you know, performed as a unit. Oh, I mean, well, it start back, started back in OTAs. You know, just building this unit and, and grinding and getting close to each other and honing on the defense, honing on Gus and what he wants from us and. Um, just building that since since OTAs and had a great camp and good week one and we just want to build each week. Um, you know, really proud of these guys. Uh, I feel blessed to play along with all, a lot of these guys. We have a lot of talent, you know, and we just we're playing as a team and uh, it's it's fun. You know, it's having a good time. What are you seeing on the field? You guys always set the tone today early on. What do you see with team? You know, what, what, what do you see over what happens? What was coming together as the game starts? Uh, just just playing together, you know, we're really locked in on our details, you know, a lot of film study, you know, great game plan by Gus and the coaches, and we're just out there executing and having a good time, you know, uh, you know, just to start 2-0 and is huge, and we just want to keep stacking. So, I mean, obviously, you had to overcome a lot the past year with your injury, and the last year the 49ers changed the team. What was it like for you today just to have a couple sacks and a good performance with your team? It felt great, you know, I was super happy about it, and, uh, you know, just got to give credit to my teammates, you know, you know, coverage was amazing. Um, you know, Max and Jan made him step up a couple of times and I uh, was able to get there. So, you know, just it's great to, you know, kind of get that off your back and now you can just play and, and have fun. So, uh, um, you know, it feels really good, especially coming off the ACL and, and just uh, being here with the team, you know, you know, miss the game a lot. In, layman, in layman's terms, what does getting a sack feel like? Though? I mean, what's the... Uh, there's nothing like that. There's a there's a lot of sayings in D-line culture that I, don't, I can't repeat right now, but uh, <laughs> but there, there's nothing like getting the sack. It's it's the best thing in the world, and no, you know, no matter how you get it, you always count it. You know, even if it's a covered sack or another guy makes him step up, you always celebrate it because because they're rare. You got to count them out. And then getting two. Oh uh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, first time getting two in, two in my career, so you know that was that was fun for sure. And just want to have more more games like that and can continue to get sacks and help my team win. Big Ben's a little older, but how tough is he to bring down? Uh, he's a big boy, you know, and, and he's Big Ben for a reason, and he's he's always been known as one of the hardest guys to get down. And you know, he's big, you know, uh, you know, he's he's a Hall of Famer, great quarterback, and you know, felt good to you know be able to sack him. Solomon, what happened on the uh, 
situation with the unsportsmanlike conduct kind of mm -hmm. offsetting there from your vantage point? Um, from my vantage point, you know, I saw uh, one of their players, you know, try to spit on my spit on one of my teammates and. And he was charging him, so I went in there to kind of separate it, and uh, I got called for sports and like when I thought I was separating it, and uh, you know, um, you just gotta protect my teammates, and you know, just you know, just instinct out there. You know, you never want to see another guy spit on your guys or charge him to try to fight him. So I just didn't want to make sure that he didn't touch Max and get close to him. Mike Tomlin said that he thought Trey Turner fifty one got spit on by somebody else first. Mm -hmm. Did you see? I didn't see. I, I came on from the sideline, so all I saw was Trey um, uh, do what he did. You know, so. Yeah. Tom, when you talk about protecting your teammates, you know, just talking to the other guys, um, you guys just seem like such a tight unit, tight group, the entire team. Mm -hmm. um, what is it like to be on a team that they're like, you know, we know our has their backs, you enjoy being mm -hmm. around each other. Does that think, I mean, the culture's, is it yeah. that much better? The culture's huge, you know, it's, it's huge, uh, especially to, to win, you know, in this league, you know, uh, you want to be a tight unit because, you know, things can fall apart quickly. So you want, we want to have each other's back. And some of Coach Gruden preaches all the time, you know, he wants us to be brothers. He wants us to get to know each other. We start off every meeting, you know, giving each other like a hug and saying what's up to each other. Like we, C Coach Gus, once a week, we show genuine appreciation for one another for all the work we do and how much we appreciate each other's work. Um, you know, it's it's especially beyond a unit that, you know, cares for each other, love each other, protect each other. Um, you know, you know, it's, it's you know, it's, that's, uh, that's how you create a winning culture, a winning unit. That's good. All right, thank you. All right, thank you all.